Hi, I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga mathmates! Hashtag Team Math Talino. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, huwag mo kalimutang mag-subscribe at ihit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na mag-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Equation of a line. So, paano ba tayo gumawa ng equation of a line? So, we have the slope and y-intercept to graph 3 slope and 1 point 4 2 points 5 x and y intercepts Pero sa video na to mag-focus muna tayo sa slope and y intercept and graph sa pagkuha ng equation of a line One find the equation of the line given the slope and y intercept so, it's very basic kung paano gumawa ng equation. So, remember yung ating slope and y-intercept form. It is in the form of y equals to mx plus b, wherein m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So, we just substitute m and b into y equals mx plus b. Ganun lamang po kadali. So, let's have an example. M is negative 3 and your B equals 1. So, what is the equation for line when our slope is negative 3 and your y-intercept is positive 1? Therefore, y equals to negative 3x plus 1. Ganun lamang po kasimple. Pinaltan lamang po natin yung value ng M which is negative 3 and then yung value ng B na positive 1. Another, M equals to negative 2 b equals to negative 4. So, what will be our answer? y equals to negative 2x minus 4. m is 0, your b is positive 10. So, what would be the equation of a line wherein the slope is 0? y equals to 0, x plus 10 or y equals to 10. Another example, your slope is 1 but your y-intercept is 0. So, what is the equation of a line? y equals to 1, x plus 0 or y equals to x. And then last but not the least, m equals to 0 and b equals to 0. So, therefore, y equals to 0. So, that's how we write the equation of a line given the slope and the y-intercept. Next, we need to proceed in our next topic, finding the equation of a line given the graph. First, find the y-intercept from the graph. Pag sinabi natin y-intercept, it passes through the y-axis or dun sa ating vertical axis. Kailangan daw yung line ay dumaan doon sa vertical line. And then we just count the slope from the graph. Again, we just count the slope from the graph. Remember the formula, we have the rise over run. At naalala yung itsura ng laat line kapag positive at negative slope. 0 and undefined slope. So, yun ay napakahalaga. Kung ang ating slope ay positive or negative. So, let's have an example. So, meron tayo ditong graph. Kung mapapansin nyo, diagonal line, diagonal straight line, yung ating graph. That is a graph of a linear equation. Hahanapin natin yung linear equation. And then, yung unang point, yun yung y-intercept. So, your y-intercept is negative 3. That will be your b. And then, humanap tayo ng other point para mahanap yung slope. And then, your rise is, let us count, 1, 2, 3, 3 units. And then, your run is 1, 2. So, therefore, rise over run, your slope is 
three halves. Again, pag humanap tayo ng point, kailangan yun ay eksaktong integer or siya dapat ay countable. Again, pag humanap tayo ng point, kailangan po ay sakto. Sakto po dun sa mismong line. So, therefore, our equation is y equals to 3 half x minus 3. Okay, so let's have another example. Negative ang ating slope. Okay? Because it is going up to the left. And then, yung ating y-intercept ay 1. Positive 1. Kasi doon siya dumaan sa positive 1. At tinitingnan po ulit natin yung vertical line. Tapos sumanap tayo ng other point na sakto din. And then, we just count. Yung kanyang rise ay 1. Ang kanyang run ay 1. So, therefore, your slope is negative 1 half. Why negative? Kasi alam natin yung itsura kapag negative slope, no? Going up to the left. So, therefore, your equation is y equals to negative 1 half x plus 1. Okay? Example 3. So, we have here a vertical line. So, dumaan siya doon sa y-axis. Your b is 4. And then, your slope is 0. Why 0? Because it is horizontal line. Remember, kapag horizontal line, the slope is 0. So, therefore, what would be the equation of the line? y equals to 4. Because there is no slope. Okay? Again, ha, for horizontal line, y equals to 4. How about this one? A vertical line that passes through the x-intercept. So, your x equals 2. And then, your slope is undefined. So, therefore, the equation of the line is just x equals 2. Let's have our last example. So, the stop is positive, right? And then, ang ating y-intercept ay 2. Positive 2. And then, humana tayo ng another point na sakto din. And then, we just count the rise and run for us to be able to identify the stop. 2. 1, 2, 2 units. And then, your run is 2. 2 divides 2 is 1. So, therefore, the equation of the line is y equals to x plus 2. So, that's how we get the equation of a line. Your first one is the slope intercept and the second one is the by graph. So, for your activity, so I want you to answer the following. Ayan, given na po yung ating uh, y-intercept. And then, the other point, you just count to get, uh, to get the slope. And then, you just write the equation of the line.
Okay, so that would be all for today. So thank you for watching.